No one is ever on Earth as a human by chance, coincidence, or accident. August 10, 2014 There is a very intense energy field enveloping Earth at present, as those in the spiritual realms boost the power of the tsunami of love to unprecedented levels. There is an enormous energy push going on as the move into full consciousness gathers momentum and many of you are feeling tired, worn out, and exhausted as a result of this. It is tough on your bodies. Although it does not feel very comfortable, it is having an extremely positive effect all across the globe, especially as it combines with the energies of those meditating and intending to embrace and share the tsunami of love as they pray and intend for peace on earth. You all incarnated to be a part of humanity's awakening process, and that process is now at a very critical and important phase. What each one of you is doing is absolutely vital to the process, even though you may be almost completely unaware of what it is you are doing. The fact of your just choosing to be incarnate on Earth at this time, your quiet presence without any obvious, to you, or to anyone else, personal spiritual agenda, is in itself an enormously powerful force that is assisting in bringing the awakening process to fulfillment. No one is ever on earth as a human by chance, coincidence, or accident. No one is saying oops. What on earth am I doing here? That thought may have occurred, but it will have been dismissed because of that deep inner knowing that you are definitely here with a divine purpose. Even though it seems that vast numbers of millions, even billions of humans have absolutely no idea what life on Earth is about, every single one presently on Earth absolutely did make the truly inspired choice to be here now. The fact that they have forgotten making that choice does not negate it, and that is why it is essential for those of you who do have a slight awareness of the divine purpose that is being fulfilled on Earth in this and every now moment must absolutely refrain from judging or condemning anyone. Everyone has a role in the awakening process, even if that role is to remain asleep. One of the major difficulties for those of you who are spiritually inclined, spiritually motivated, or somewhat spiritually aware, is that for the most part you cannot access your memories of the intentions that you set for yourselves before you arrived on earth as humans. You know that life has a meaning, a very important meaning, and so you go searching for it, studying religious texts studying other religions, studying other cultures, studying shamanic rituals, seeking guidance from someone who appears more spiritually conscious and holy than yourself, but, as many of you now understand, that meaning can only be found by yourselves within yourselves. It is your inextinguishable inner light, hidden under the veil of the illusion, and that veil is slipping. Seeking for life's meaning can definitely help you because it will bring to your awareness the ineluctable truth that what you seek is within you. Frequently, however, that is a very hard truth to accept because most of you have been inculcated with a powerful sense of unworthiness. Others may be worthy, but I am not. Eventually your persistence pays off, because your spiritual intent along with the intent you made before incarnating leads you to an awareness that you are indeed a spiritual being having a temporary human experience, and that you are eternally one with God, the Source, the divine field of existence from which you have never been separated. You become aware that God does love you eternally and unconditionally, even though you do not feel it fully, you just know that this must be so because you realize that God, the Supreme Intelligence, is unconditional love. When this awareness arrives, quite suddenly or by slowly seeping into your consciousness, it is indeed most comforting and brings with it a lasting sense of peace. When doubts arise, as they surely do for everyone, go within, to your quiet and holy inner sanctuary, and intentionally and determinedly ask your spiritual friends, guides, mentors, angels, me, in fact anyone here in the spiritual realms whom you feel at home with and comfortable addressing, for a powerful and loving hug or squeeze, and allow yourself to feel it, because it will be given instantly. You are not alone, abandoned, or forgotten, ever. You are constantly held in full awareness by all in the spiritual realms, where you are greatly honored for the enormous and demanding task that you have undertaken so willingly and enthusiastically. In this period of great stress on earth, with new and frightening dramas unfolding daily, just know that the divine plan is unfolding perfectly. 
what you experience, physically or emotionally, is a major aspect of the ongoing clearing process that is leading you all to your awakening, which is inevitable because it is divinely assured. Hang in there. You are doing an extraordinary job of immense importance which you cannot fail to complete with outstanding success. Your loving brother, Jesus. Channeled by John Smallman. John Smallman2.wordpress.com